Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading, August 19th to uh, August 25th, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're going to jump right into it. Right, I think that that's good enough. And uh, the first card which stands for your topic of the week, Libra, is going to be the Queen of uh, Wands, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. Here we do have the Chariot card. The third one stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week. Uh, that it will help you, you know, that will be the nine of swords. And then the last one, which regards or refers to the guidance here, we do have the ace of cups. So quite sort of a, um, a good week. Um, uh, what can I say about these cards is that you are to have a, a, a some sort of a proposition. Okay. It, it just, it looks like uh, that way to me, it, it refers more to business uh, with with the looks of uh, these cards. Also, it could also refer to relationship, you know, but it should be a relationship. It will have more a structural fashion. What I mean is that the love is going to be set on the backstage and what will take... Um, what will be the main course of action? It is how reliable you are to each other or how much trust you do have to each other. Or it's going to be more like a relationship born from benefits. Now again, guys, in this reading, we're going to talk about the potential and what you can do in order to unfold that potential. Should you decide not to do what the... Um, Conditions are displaying. It means that you're not going to reach that potential of the reading and you're going to go on a separate way. So um, before we scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. Now the Queen of Wands, it is the first one followed by the uh, Chariot card, which stands for the second and that is the challenges. Afterwards, it is the third card, which is the Nine of Swords and that is the... Um, positive aspect and the last one is going to be the um, ace of cups which stands for the guidance okay so uh queen of swords well that is that is going to be the person who approaches you here throughout the week or who takes a a part of your life throughout the week now very cheerful person to be honest the queen of swords is the queen of wands excuse me uh characterized as a person is someone who has the knack for life all right so they always seize the positivity the positive the, the, the positivity they always can traverse a, a poignant situation into something positive why it is because they they a have a acute business sense should that be in regards to business matter matters 
or b they have a, a profound understanding into the human nature meaning that they can see you for what you truly are and that is a, a good thing because if the up until this point you know you felt like people were mistreating you and they aren't giving you a chance you know to shine well guess what you are in luck here because this person this week coming around is going to give you the chance you so much crave for and should you perform as good as you can well that depends like i said entirely up to you now you need to know however that the queen of wands is someone who is not unreasonable i mean she or he for that matter very well knows you know what you're good at and will immediately spot on if you are not performing at your best but you rather prefer to slack so do not slack throughout the week the accompanied card is the eight of uh, it's the eight of wands here formation it's a uh, active supporters that we do have so uh I would say that even though it may look like a gift that this person comes around and offers you this opportunity to be in a relationship with them or to, to perform into their task or, you know, to be a part of their project, actually, they quite need you for what it seems with, uh, with the Eights of Wands. I mean, you are that missing piece of their puzzle that they can fill up with something else, you know, but you are coming as a, like I said, as a gift, as a missing as a missing asset that they need although they realize that they have to polish a little bit that asset so it can fit to their personal agenda but uh, nonetheless what my point here is is that you are going to be useful to each other and just because you know you're going to contribute in a certain way to their agenda shouldn't be a prerequisite for you to deny the guidance the helping hand or the proposition that this queen of wands offers you with uh, now the next one <clears throat> is going to be the challenge here and that will be the uh, chariot card so first things first it does point to this new opportunity on its own like a uh, a conquest is going to be very tough to to overcome or rather like to achieve because it will come a lot to your personal abilities you know and the luck of your hard work as well but in the same time you need to know with the chariot is that even though at the start you may not see it as something productive actually you know the cooperation with the uh, queen of uh, wands can allow you to uh, to fulfill some i don't know how to say it here really but to reach some wish fulfillment i would say it that way but you know you need to shine with a singularity you need to show yourself unique and that will be the challenge on top of that some of your actions may prove a bit immature and a bit pre uh premature all right immature and premature yeah so a uh, hasty approach and uh, how do you say it and, and rushing things it's not something advisable that you should do throughout the week the accompanied card is going to be the ace of swords formation it is a, a passive neutrals that we do have and simply what these cards here are pointing is that you may think you know everything but you doesn't right so open your eye open your ears right and listen Okay, and now that I am kind of like watching in YouTube, you know, Gordon Ramsay's House Kitchen, um, and you know, a, a portion of it, it's something like that, you know, this guy comes around, offers you their help, but they're full of criticism, they're telling you what to do, you know, and you're kind of like proud, and you think that you know everything, you know, that they are not in your shoes, so they don't know what they are talking about, well, they do, all right, they, they just do. Because they have been there and they have overcome your situation. And the, the, with these cards, at least for what it seems, is that that person wants to help you. And it's because that way they're going to build up their own image. And like I said, you know, they win something from it. Uh, something that is not related to you. So by them winning, by, your, by, by that cooperation with you, it, not, it does not deprive you from any benefits on its own. And then the next one is going to be about uh, the positive aspect, and that will be the Nine of Swords. So positive aspect points that you are going to face up your fears. It doesn't get any louder than that. What that really means? Well, things you have been afraid to speak of, things that you have been afraid to do, things that you have been um, reluctant, you know, to even contemplate on, now you will, you will find yourself with no choice but to try out, 
trying out, you are to see that you didn't have to be scared because it's probably a piece of cake, right? So it's it's like a, a drive toward building up your self-confidence here. The accompanied card of that is going to be the Five of Swords formation is the active supporters and that is founding out or defining brand new uh, uh, limitations of yourself. So it's like expanding your limitations. Let's say you have lived up until this point, either relationship wise or career wise in a certain bubble. So you saw that a senior partner into your company and you say and you were saying to yourself, I will never be able to be like that guy, you know, or like that woman. Well, guess what? You will. I, you can be like them. I don't know if you will, but you can be like them. And uh, the only thing you got to do, at least according to this week, is to listen what the most, the more experienced people were telling you and follow their footsteps because their footsteps are, uh, it's look like that they are the footsteps towards success. Additionally to that, um, in a positive end, these two cards, the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords, are talking about a, a rootless drive, rootless drive to a point denied, uh, to, in a sense of denying failure, you know, like failing, it, failure is not an option available and one is ready to do whatever it takes to avoid it. Well, you are going to get that certain standpoint. And the last card that we do have for you, Libra, is going to be the Ace of Cups, which is the Guidance. And this card uh, urges you to hug the newness with everything you got. Because the Ace of Cups represents these new circumstances that make your current problems completely irrelevant. Okay, It's like the, the knight with shining armor. It, when, when I gave uh, the example with the house kitchen and the uh, Gordon Ramsay there, you know, bitching on the owners and uh, and kind of like criticizing the meal, he's, yeah, maybe he can be a bit milder with it, all right? But if he's a bit milder with it, no one is going to listen, all right? So it's the same kind of thing with you. I mean, you got to hug this thing like there is no tomorrow, and uh, embrace it. And by doing so, doing the things this new way that the Queen of Wands gives you, all right, or kind of divulges to you with the Ace of Cups, like I said, many of the problems you thought that are kind of like uh, irreversible or, or, or uh, are unsolvable are actually going to lose any relevance because they don't need to be solved anymore because they don't, uh, they don't, uh, how how do I say it? They don't obstruct you any longer. They are not weakness of yours. Well, they may be weakness that can't be exploited. It's no weakness whatsoever. The accompanied card here is going to be the justice and the formation. It is a passive neutrals once again. So with the justice, it's not about you here and the Ace of Cups. It's about the grand scheme of things. It's about the greater good. It's about your business. It's about your relationship. It's not about you. Sometimes we have to do, you know, things we are not proud of to sustain our relationships, to sustain uh, our position, to sustain our job. We may not like it, but if we don't do it, we are going to lose the job, the relationship or our life in the uh, figurative uh, sense of the word. So this is the time where you will have to listen instead of jump uh, recklessly, you know, and follow the footsteps of one that is more experience than you are. Of course, the Ace of Cups could point here that you may start developing emotional attachment to this person and the vice versa as well. But at that particular initial stage of, uh, of your cooperation, uh, jumping into more profound emotional relationship like you know being together it's not highly advisable so that being said Libra this was your weekly tarot reading August 19th to August 25th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're gonna see each other uh, next time until then bye